Hello everyone, welcome to a A Division match in the Dominion League Season 62 between Tracer and Yuri Kamome. I'm Akuchi and I'm joined in commentary by Brippert. Hey everyone. And we are off in the first game already. And uh, apologies for people watching if I'm slow to click on things. My mouse cursor is invisible, I'm doing the best I can. This looks like you know, there's not much payload here. Um, there's certainly a number of things to do, but uh, you yeah, have, we... I guess first Hamlets is probably your your strongest payload. Yeah, there's dismantle, which I mm, I was gonna say you probably play with, but. I don't know, you could just go Crucible. Uh, yeah, but the Open has to be Magpie Enchantress, I would think. Yeah, I think so. I think there's, I mean, you definitely want the Enchantress, um, and no reason to delay it, I don't think. Oh, okay, actually, if you have a 4-2, you could, you could do a crazy, like, double Hamlet thing if you wanted to, <laughs> to get that loot. Yeah, just get right. Just go fishing for goat. Yeah, that's uh, J Nails' yeah. approach. Yeah, or his recommendation. I don't know if J Nails would play that way. I, I, there have been games in the past where J Nails has recommended aggressively going after the the cursed pile. I I get a little nervous with the trashing as slow as it is on this kingdom. Yeah, it it's something that I think you want to do when you have other options if it doesn't work out but it's awesome if it, if you get it um it's not something you want to just be like reliant on prize goat first to win yeah i mean scouting party does help like with with having a junky deck a little bit yeah okay jane Ailes is pointing out that this game could end very quickly on magpies hamlets and curses it certainly could. It depends on... I feel like both players have to play pretty aggressively with the Hamlets to lead to a real degen case, but those are probably the three piles that are are going to empty. Right. It really matters how early do they stop buying Hamlets because they start getting concerned about piles and where's the where the deck's at. Well, and also when did they start buying Hamlets, right? I mean, so far, no, no Hamlets. So we'll see who makes the, who goes first. So, okay, uh, there was a Crucible purchase that was, by that Yuri was a, open uh, by Yuri Kamome. Interesting. So that's no magpies for Yuri Kamome, right? Yeah, that's, yeah, I guess we didn't talk about that. Yeah, that, or, or notice it. Yeah. That's surprising, certainly, to just skip Magpie here. Yeah, I think you're going to have a lot of coppers in your deck for a long time in this kingdom. All right, there we go. Turn four, Magpie. All right. Not too late. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Could could certainly be a sort of pretty heavy Magpie split. But it's Magpie. You never know. This is a unusual game of Dominion in that... There's nothing good to buy on five. Yeah, Magpie is probably like the best thing to buy. Yeah, I was thinking the scouting party could be good, but that's not really what Tracer wanted to see. I assume the other two cards were just bad. Yeah, I think they were like Copper Estate, so a little unlucky with the, the order. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't great. But he gets a sword, which seems pretty nice here. I don't think it'll do too much work. No. But, uh, I mean, it should. It'll just knock price points off maybe a little bit as the game gets a little later. It'll be useful. Oh, I guess it did do something there, right? Because um, Yuri wanted to keep the estate to trash with Crucible. So, yeah. I'm going to... I'm going to say Yuri. Hopefully that doesn't offend Yuri Kamome. It's a little easier to say. I was planning on doing the same thing. <laughs> the most part. Uh, 
So the Magpies are only three to two still. So Yuri's still in the Magpie split. And now he gets Chalice, which is <laughs> terrible, right? <laughs> like, like, that's still true here. Um, uh, I've, I've seen, I don't like Chalice ever, but this, I've seen worse games for Chalice than this. Um, I think, like, these players are so far away from deck control that getting the, the coin every turn is almost as good as having a, a three, three coin and a buy, I think. Yeah, that's true. It does. It's, yeah, the, the decks are so far from control and draw, and we'll probably never be in control because right, the game's just going to end. Yeah. So it is It is not too bad, although the game's going to end and it's not going to give you that much value in the sort of small number of turns you have left, too. But yeah, seems fine. I mean, it could give you pile pressure on Hamlet's. Of course, you need to score some points with that approach. So Tracer here um, decided to go back to turn one. Uh, see how that goes. Oh, no, no, they had an Enchantress. Okay, it's all good. That still doesn't get to do too much. <laughs> well, you know, seven is enough to buy. The problem is, like, the buys here, right, are just, you're still buying Magpies and, and Hamlets, and that's all you're ever going to buy. Until... I'm pretty surprised by that buy, that Magpie buy. Like, I would want to play buy Scouting Party, I think. Yeah, I guess, well, they knew they had good-ish stuff down in the deck because they had treasures and just the sword in, in hand, mm -hmm. but maybe they're just, you know, getting burned from the scouting party earlier. Yeah, it is unforgiving. It would be so much better if it was discard up to three cards or something like that. Oh, yeah. That would be... That would be much more pleasant. Enchantress makes sense to, you know, try to... As you get into the end game here, you're going to want to have cards in hand to be able to actually... Threaten piles a little bit. And you got to figure your opponent's going to play an Enchantress, so playing the duplicate one here for Tracer, not going to be an issue. Meanwhile, Yuri, I think, can play both. Yep, because I got plus actions with that Hamlet. It seems fairly close. Uh, yeah, I would say maybe Yuri, you know, having a little bit of an Enchantress lead is perhaps a little bit ahead. And this was a solid turn from from Yuri being able to get two Enchantresses down. So, yeah, I like that position. Uh, I don't think you have to worry quite yet to take a, a province. So, what do you do? Maybe. Maybe I don't think you want to buy a Scouting Party because you've put something bad in the trash now. So could be double Hamlet Enchantress. That seems slightly dangerous, though. Yeah, that seems you know, kind of extremely dangerous to lower Hamlets to four. You could just do Hamlet Enchantress, just float the two. Yeah, Tracer has a much more difficult time getting to five buys than four. I mean, four is not guaranteed, but... Actually, with could... four buys, you could go Enchantress Hamlet and then Scouting Party. Oh, wait, maybe double Scouting Party. Does that do anything good? I don't actually know how many cards are in the discard. It's probably bad. But Tracer did start, so... Yeah, I guess Tracer taking four Hamlets might not win, right? Because uh, the points would be tied. Yeah. So it could lower it. No, it would be losing. Right, it would be lose. Yeah, tie score and Tracer would lose. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the other thing that does make the lowering of the curse pile like not as dangerous because you know the opponent's got to take the curses with them. So Tracer for sure isn't like buying a province and four hamlets, you know. Right. But I guess the other the problem is that the so it just takes a conclave, which makes sense to me, because I think the Hamlets just don't really make Yuri's deck much better at this point. Like taking the curses doesn't yeah. you know make up for, you just want to play the loots you already have. Yeah, they still have a curse they need to trash and they have one crucible. I, I could have seen taking a second crucible. Um potentially. Because it does give you a little burst, although you don't have high cost stuff to trash. Well you have loot, yeah. I, I would have considered a second crucible there instead of conclave. 
yeah, that would have been reasonable. And uh, I mean, even trashing coppers, if you so this, if you draw a little bit, it's fine. And and then lets you set up the larger trash later, more likely. Yeah. So Tracer saw pretty much all their bad cards except for one estate. So they couldn't use Scouting Party effectively. Decided so to buy a farm, get a little VP. That Magpie can draw. Yeah, farm seems it's a good enough card, but how did that split by the way? Was Mac did they go seven three or six four? I think it was seven three, but I didn't track precisely. I think I've seen Yuri only play three for yeah. shuffle though. Okay. Yeah, we'll know for sure once we see Yuri's next five card hand. I think I would save the copper by province here as Yuri. Yeah, I think I think that makes sense. Your deck's not going to be getting that much better. You could maybe consider building a little more and take more Enchantress, but probably not time for that. Yeah, I'm pretty content to start the green the greening here as Yuri. It just seems so challenging to get full deck control. And being in the position Yuri's in where they seem like they played two changes two turns in a row. That's a pretty nice place to be. Interesting. Okay. I decided to take another loot. I mean they do only have the puzzle box, right? Is their only loot mm. that's in there. So Yeah, I mean if anybody gets uh prize goat, that's still gonna be valuable. It's so valuable with Cursed because you <laughs> you have a great target guaranteed when you get it. Oh, Sword really hurts Puzzle Box saving. Oh, yeah, it does. And uh, Yuri did get four Magpies. That's okay. That's good for leaving out of the open. So no... Nope. Uh... Ah, okay, I was going to say, Tracer's going without uh, Enchantress, but they used Orb to play it. I think that's that's worthwhile. Yeah. Oh, who knew farms were so popular? Such a good card. That could be it's... one of the third three piles. Could be. Could be. It's a classic concept. It's treasure and VP. Neat. What are you talking about? This farm card is brand new. <laughs> Look at this lovely conclave. It did take me a long time to put together that it did the same thing as a prior Dominion card did. And it I see, because you, you missed the the news about the update. <laughs> I did, yeah. So I just was like, oh, farm, it does this. I, I didn't even put it together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like a while. I would uh, buy Province a, here. Hammer gain here. So yeah, probably buy Province and I like, take an in. Or... I think I like Crucible. Province Hamlet, yeah, gain Crucible by Province Hamlet, or could be, yeah, could be gain Enchantress. Yeah, yeah, it's a good scouting party play. So they that they knew they probably had a mm -hmm. a lot of this down here. Yeah, heads up play there. You don't need both Hamlets, I assume. Yep. Wait, what? Wait, what? What happened? I missed I missed the province by. Okay, okay, province first. I almost had a heart attack. I thought Yuri like forgot to use their nine coins or something. Yeah, that sword is really the the counter to puzzle. The sword breaks open the puzzle box right open. Oh, that's funny. Did Conclave get discarded to the sword? Oh, where did... Oh, the Con... I don't even know what's going on anymore. Yeah, 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 I did. Okay. So this Conclave has never been played yet. You know, in theory, it's... Okay, I guess. I mean, you have the Hamlet to just discard stuff. Probably... It's probably close enough to, to fine, at least, to have added the Conclave. But, yeah. 
has not done anything here. Uh, continues with Enchantress over Crucible. I think it's, I think I certainly agree with you at, at this point that it would be time to add Crucible. It's doing a lot more for you than Enchantress, and you see it. You can even uh, give the spectators some joy by trashing Province. And it would cause me personal agony, but, you know, there, there are moments for it. I don't think that'll come up here, actually, because if you're threatening piles, you need all the green you have. Yeah. Yeah, it would only maybe happen for province pile ending, I think. I think I pig the magpie, yeah. I guess if you knew there was another hamlet down there, you could have done that. Oh, well, live and learn. Ooh, triple enchantress. Man, those enchantresses are right at the top of the shuffle all the time. They've, okay. They've been nice. Ooh, I'm not do you trash pouch? Nope. So Lex to miss. Okay, undoing. I feel like I'm willing to trash pouch here for province. Yeah, I would. Yeah. So certain, yeah. If you have the chalice, like you really don't need pouch at all. Mm -hmm. Plus all your hamlets, yeah. Right. Ooh, no enchantress in play for tracer. It's looking rough. Yeah, and seeing a lot of the money up at the top here too. We can scout. Scouting party, province. Yeah, yeah, that certainly seems seems correct here. But Tracer's like, I know I'm gonna see good, good cards if I buy scouting party. Yeah, see five more treasures. Just draw into a hand of four enchantress, no village, you know, something like that is certainly possible. But uh. You gotta, I think you got to take that chance. I don't think any other pile makes sense at this point with three. Okay. Not bad. Yeah, that's what you're looking for, really. Close to it. Oh, did you discard the farm? Wow. All right, let's see what... Hey, this Conclave can get get played. Incredible. There you go. Gives you an action and everything. All right, so you probably want to Crucible the Curse if you can. Which means you have to kind of make a choice. Am I going to need the plus action? No, because you have Conclave. So nothing needs to be discarded with Hamlet. They have the ability to double if they Crucible... The hammer and then draw, especially if they draw a little bit more. Mm, that's pretty good if you can double, yeah. I mean, it's they pretty, have 15 in hand right now. It's pretty difficult for Tracer to come back from that, so. But you can also, yeah. I mean, crucibling the magpie is the same, right? As the hammer. It is, but you could. That would leave you at 15. I see, I see. Think that you need to draw for what? it. What? What was... What was... Action. Why would you discard the curse for action? I'm not sure. Confused. Anyway, double province is possible. Yeah, there's a bunch of routes for it now. And I think they include getting the enchantress down. Mm-hmm. I would trash puzzle box, I think. Yeah, that's going to be tough to match. <laughs> the Tracer having basically an off turn here, unless the Magpies are just magical. And that's so many points for these decks. Incredibly 
we're not going to see a pileout. J-Nails would have made it a pileout. We can be sure. Yeah, instead we just see like a slowish, money-ish <laughs> sort of enchantress draw thing. It's not a terrible turn for Tracer. You know, you get to buy Duchy or Farm, your choice, and Trash or Curse at some points. Okay, that's game. Yep. Oh boy, can I find the okay that button with my invisible mouse cursor? That's a real challenge. Oh, it's so small. You have no idea. The struggle. I mean, it seems like it would be really hard. <laughs> it's right in the middle of the screen, so I don't have anything... <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. I'm just gonna press the refresh and see what happens. Yeah, it's probably an easier path back. Uh the next board is uh Souk and uh lots of stuff. Uh Lost City Mastermind tools, uh sentry trashing, uh wayfarer extra draw gambling stuff you can rush cards there's a um, <laughs> there's a lot to do here yeah i, I got there <laughs> cool This one's pretty fast, but the cards that are that you want in the open are not very good. Oh, right? uh, Gamble Souk is monolithic, I think. Okay, right, Gamble Souk, right? That's like a, a combo thing that you just play, right? Yeah, I'm gonna look that up in my notes. I think I've seen that now that now that you. I think it's like one of the strongest two card combos, and Tracer definitely knows about it. I think Tracer made a video on it. I think that's how I know about it. Mm -hmm. Well, it's hard to check your notes when you can't see your mouse cursor, but... Yeah. Yeah, Gamble Souk, in my notes, you can get to six provinces in eight to ten turns. That's monolithic. No support. Just buying silver souks. And... and Golds if you need to. Yeah. Uh, it's legit. I don't know if anything on the board improves it. Uh, Vassal works, I think. You could play with one Vassal. It's maybe not better than Silver, though. Tracer does decide to open Cardinal. That's a little surprising. So I don't think you want to willy-nilly add Terminals to your deck. You must think that it's worth it. Maybe plan to just trash it, or I'm not super familiar with Gamble Souk. I don't really know how to play it. Um, yeah, you I just guess. buy silvers, you buy souks, trashing cards, and you get to a point where you can. You want to have souks not in your hand, right? Then you can gamble them, and each time you gamble a souk, you get plus five coins, which is incredible. If you gamble a silver, that's even. So you get to the point where you can get all the rest of the souks by buying souk gamble, which is uh, breaks even. And then you get to a point where you, you then you just want to top deck as many silvers or golds as you can, so that. You, you play at most one souk. Well, I, ideally zero souks um, in your in your main action phase, and you just gamble them all. Uh, but early on, it's just really it's just really boring. Like you just buy a souk at every opportunity and trash as many cards as you can. It's that simple. Oh shoot! There's rush. Oh no! I didn't even notice the rush. That's the other degenerate. Souk synergy. Oh my god. Brutal. So 
Oof. Well, that's certainly something you want to know about. And wait, how did like he... how did Yuri pull that off? They had seven coins on turn four. Yeah, they did. They drew cardinal silver. Oh three my! Tumber. You can't plan for that. Oh my goodness. That would be tilting <laughs> as Tracer. Because it's possible Yuri didn't know about like the gamble approach, but definitely saw the rush thing. And then yeah. You put the pieces together. It's not it's not that difficult. Yeah. I missed Rush in my first scan of the kingdom. Oh, we didn't see Yuri take all 10 souks, so I didn't actually know if they would have. All right, we've got Bridge Troll Cursed Village. Um, that's great. But do you have trashing? Yes, Crucible. And Displace, although you really don't want to be spending your five five car coin hands on, on Displace. Yeah, we think there's just not really time to add displace here. Swift so players open Silver Crucible and pick up a patron. Uh, patron's really nice. It's good to have a villager to spare because then you can start your turn by like playing a bridge troll and then playing Curse Village to get some extra draw. And you just refund that villager later. So very nice patron board. Yeah. Yeah, really, really nice. Whoa! Yuri trashed their Crucible. I don't agree with that. And just to be able to buy Bridge Troll. Yeah, no. I don't think that, like, Rush is there. You're yeah, certainly you ahead if you get six Bridge Trolls, but you can totally win on this kingdom with four. Especially with Patron. Yeah, there's Patreon, there's you can displace some extra gains, I and mean, there's there's other stuff you can do if you have deck control and are off to the races much faster. Yeah. Yeah, getting bridge rolls is important, but not a crucible trash and crucible important. That's my opinion. Like you can't even buy another crucible. Oh, I just want to play with two crucibles for sure. I want to be the person with two crucibles here. Yeah. Coppers it's are one just of those things that deadly here. Yeah, the coppers need to be getting out. You need to prioritize that, and you're probably not... It probably doesn't help you actually have more bridge trolls to take the first one that early uh, at the cost of you know, not being center and, and playing it more frequently and playing other stuff more early. I missed that there was a bridge troll in play, so Yuri was able to pick up the second Crucible. There, This hand looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, getting the second bridge troll play... Right is, it you know that helps you catch back up uh, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's no, I I think it's pretty even game. The tracer has not hit five with much consistency either. Oh, and this is an awful pay crucible collision. In tracer's position here, I might actually consider crucible trashing crucible. Gets a little worse because you have bridge troll in play. Oof. But yeah, the alternative is you don't buy anything. Right. Yeah, that's tough. Okay. That actually that's the alternative. But just to buy, you know, what with three. Okay. <laughs> decides decides not to. Just yeah. Passed. yeah, it's rough. All all the choices are kind of bad there, as tracer. I guess could have chosen to lower the patron pile by one just for the sake of it, but some people just want to watch the world burn. Yeah, that's crucible's not hitting estates again for tracer. That's rough. 
A lot of Dominion is, do you align your state treasurer up with your states on shuffles before turn 14? I think I get a bridge troll here. You have a couple of villagers. Um, it's more important. Like, Curse Village just isn't doing that much with all the junk cards in your deck. So, yeah, I'd get a third bridge troll. Yeah, that, that makes sense to be able to hopefully make it come back by getting him down and yeah, it's lining up stuff. lining up a lot better for Yuri. This yeah. is not a turn where you're going to buy stuff unless you trash Crucible to Crucible, which I don't like. Yeah, it's just tough to buy stuff when your opponent's attacking you. It is. Yeah, I think I wouldn't mind in Yuri's position just saying I'm just going to get thinner here and then you can make the decision to buy stuff later. I think that's the way. You could buy a silver. A uh, second silver is not crazy. I don't know who has the two silvers. Uh, what happened there? There's just no trash? No trash. Just played the coppers. Well, we'll see if it pays off. I mean, so it's been working out pretty good. Has been, although they miss they missed getting a bridge troll down here. Yeah. Who's got the second cursed village? Do you do you know? I don't. Okay, bridge troll number four. All right, both players have four bridge trolls. I feel like at this point, you don't have to panic. Like, getting a fifth and sixth bridge troll is good, but I think I'd focus on Cursed Village if I... Whoever has one Cursed Village, certainly. Yeah, I agree with that. Tracer has a bunch of bridge trolls in play there, but... Not able to buy anything, because no money. Oh, this turn, maybe. Yuri's got a lot of village. So Yuri does have the two cursed villages. Yeah, I was surprised by the farming village. Like, I guess Yuri never picked up a patron, which I think is a misplay. Like, somehow they have two farming villages, so I feel like one of those should have... Probably the first one should have been a patron. Yeah, I think it's a pretty clearly a misplay because it's draw. It's not just reliability here. I mean, it's also money, and... And that, right? You know, these players have been wanting that on many turns. It's true. The two, the two coins is useful here. And the, right, the other stuff, <laughs> extremely so. Yeah, every single time Crucible trashing is like, it's such a trade-off, you know? It's like, hey, do I want to be able to buy anything this turn? I, I think you double trash and just take your medicine here. It, it's unfortunate that you don't even have a Cursed Village down there to like get into another shuffle. Actually, you have no villages, so... Yeah, three bridge trolls and you can only play one. That is the downside. So does Tracer just trash here? I think so. There's nothing nothing um, you can do. Can't even get money from Crucible, so. Yeah, could only buy a one cost with trash and Crucible, so seems pretty clear that you just want to get thin. So in terms and, of uh, overall money, Tracer just has a patron and a silver, I think? Whoa. Okay. I was wrong. Seems okay. I don't like it. I'd buy a second Cursed Village before I bought another Bridge Troll. Yeah, I thought that was odd to not play the Patron, but that was just a missed look. Yeah, I thought like. they had plenty of Villagers, which... Yeah. Okay, so Tracer's got the six Bridge Trolls. I don't think that matters too much the sixth in particular is just for denial really i mean it lets you buy province i guess it is 
is what it does, but this game is almost certainly going to end on on piles. The ability to buy province is not critical. I'd go double cursed village here. It is nice to have the six bridge trolls though, because you know, having three cursed villages and being somewhat thin. I yeah, mean, it's still a few turns away, but and and it's not like Yuri has fantastic deck control. No, not at all. No, I, I like Tracer's position now. Get another cursed village. I don't think I just don't think you need to play with this place. It's getting a little fancy. I mean, it's it's obviously good if you play it. Um, it it's nice if it lines up with cursed village. You know the way you want. So here's we're not having. I guess you can just eat up the villager here. Yeah, I think you have to do that. Hey, Yuri's clean now. All right, so what's Yuri's plan? I think... This place is pretty good with bridge troll, right? Because, well, not with four bridge trolls. Not as good. You can displace into duchies, meh. But you need more gains, um, because Tracer... And I guess you could play... I think in the Yuri's position, you kind of need to play for Dodd. But I don't... It's not clear exactly how you would go about doing that. Hmm. I mean, you can play with some horse traders. Like, if you, you get some cursed villages, you get some horse traders, you buy... Right? Like, two cursed villages, two horse traders, a patron, maybe. Oh, yeah, I guess you don't even need the second patron. All right, they're going to displace. It, there will be opportunities to displace things, right? Crucible. Uh, a, a prime displace target. Yeah, I mean, displace is certainly good. Mm -hmm. They, they oh. take traders as well, but then draw into a dud, and Tracer has the top tech curse villages here with the displace. Mm -hmm. Excellent draw. Hey, they can finally clean up their estate. You're on turn. If they want. 19. Nope, they're keeping it because they don't need the money. That makes sense. Keep the points. Yeah, this game's not going to end on, on provinces. How has this taken 19 turns? That is a good question. That is a good question, DZ. I feel like they that... had awful crucible luck, both of them. And then they made decisions not to thin and dotted both of them. It is still surprising. Yeah, that is surprisingly slow. I think that just really speaks. I mean, crucible is at its worst, of course, when you're combining it with ritual. <laughs> Um, but I mean, you ha you have to use something to trash copper, right? And and it's just there's no good copper trasher. Yeah, no, that's a surprisingly slow game featuring bridge troll. Uh, and here's a terrible turn for Yuri. That's not a hex you want to get hit with. All right, so you can, yeah, Tracer can definitely end this turn now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Yuri, be. Yuri just made that trivial. Yeah, entirely Hardly needs trivial. to draw anything. Yeah, that was sort of resign button-esque uh, decision. Okay, Tracer's on the board. 2-1, Yuri. Oh no, I need to re-log in. Nope. I'm, I'm out of man. Nice. Just found the button. No, I just refreshed. Uh -huh. But it like, I was scared because it took me back to the title screen for like one second before I decided, nah, we'll log you in.
Uh, well, Warp Engine with <laughs> lots of village, swamp checks with durations, hostelry stuff. I mean, this is a. I mean, this should be faster than the last game. I'm pretty sure of that. Hmm. Um, but there's no trashing, right? There's no trashing, but there's. There's war. Yeah, I think yeah. between wharf and hostile, uh, you know, minstrel. I mean, you've just got a lot, a lot that works here. It's not going to be super fast, but I don't think we'll see turn 19 here. So we're going to see a banquet for war. That would not surprise me. And I could also not see able... opening minstrel. <laughs> I could see I could see Minstrel Silver, I could see Courtyard Silver, I could see Banquet for Wharf. Uh, I could see Double Silver even. I feel like no, I would play Courtyard Silver over Double Silver every time. Like take away all the tricks. So Yuri went with Horse Traders. That wasn't on my bingo card, but um it is good at hitting five. It is good at hitting five, but I would, and it, and it is going to discard estates if you draw it. But I would certainly think you'd want your terminal space on a courtyard in the in the mm -hmm. open here. Yeah, Tracer did the silver courtyard open. Uh, Yuri with the second silver. I didn't notice if they had four, because with four you want to buy a village, I think. Like, I think I want Minstrel here as Tracer, and then you hit five next turn. Horse Traders. Oh my god, you don't hit five because you're Courtyard Bottom Decks, and you curse the world. Bottom Decking Courtyard Copper, that's rough. I'm pretty shocked by these Horse Traders. Like, especially Tracers. I don't know what the logic was that led to that. Yeah, yes. I mean, it is usable payload for the whole game, but uh, it's not. It's not a great card. Please buy a village, Tracer. You have two terminals and you're planning to add a wharf into your deck. Yeah, you need to add a wharf into your deck. If that doesn't happen, you Oh, uh, Tracer already had a Minstrel. Uh, maybe you uh, don't play the Minstrel here, though. Because you want that wharf in the shuffle. No, Tracer disagrees. Next to play it. Did, it did have Minstrel Courtyard in that shuffle, which I think is is a nice thing to have in the hand here. I'm just going to go ahead and say I don't like these horse traders, either of them. Yuri gets started on hostelries. I, yeah, I am going to say it. I, I agree with not liking the horse traders. Yeah, I think hostelry again for Yuri makes sense. Right, either that or wharf courtyard, maybe. Just too many terminals, I think. Yeah, that would be five terminals. Because Yuri doesn't have a, a minstrel. So it's all on the back of that one hostelry. So you give it a, a companion. Yep. And Yuri agrees, as do I. All right, let's see if Tracer follows or wants to pick up another wharf. For Tracer with two minstrels, I feel like yeah, I could go either way. Probably hostelry, though. I just want to get a little bit... Like, I want that acceleration. I want my next turn to be good, and then I can go on from there. You really want to hit, like, 9 on this board, so you can pick up Wharf plus Minstrel, I think. Or Wharf plus Swamp Shacks at some point. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You just, well, you just want to play this. You got this power terminal here you can play at the end of every turn called Horse Traders. So, mm -hmm. go around to that. But if you do do that, you hit 10 if you draw everything, so. Okay, so Tracer played 6, which uh, maybe means Courtyard Hostelry? Yeah. 
Interesting choice. I don't think I want two courtyards in this kingdom, but courtyards not it's bad. And, you know, Worf doesn't take up that much terminal space. All right, so I think this is this is 10. It's great. So you can either do hostelry plus a horse and Worf, or you can just buy Wandering Minstrel with Worf. Okay, yep. Seems reasonable. Although, man, I really like having Minstrels on my deck, so Yuri having none, I feel like that doesn't bode well for long-term reliability. These horses are good on your next shuffle. The Wandering Minstrels are good the entire game. Yeah. Yeah, getting the, the Minstrels in deck for a deck like this is pretty huge. It's gonna save you some turns. I like that play. Very nice. Very nice turn from Tracer. Get the top tick the horse too. Very good. I don't think the wharf split matters too much. So long as you have four, it should be okay. Because um, you can get some supplemental draw with Longship and Swamp Shacks. And, of course, Courtyard. Oh, there's Advisor, too. Advisor looks pretty bad in this kingdom, though. Yeah, I don't think Advisor is going to be worth it with those other options. Swamp Shacks is you know, already going to be at a village level pretty reliably. And then... Uh... And then courtyards are available, and you got plenty of buys. Looks great. Double war plus a minstrel or swamp shacks for Yuri. And then, I mean, Yuri drew deck, of course, with horses. But um, at some point, you're going to need to add some payload, which I guess is horse traders or treasures. Yeah, I mean, that, that certainly makes adding the horse traders early seem pretty defensible. Nah, I suppose. Just that you do, you know, sort of, sort of you want it long term here. Uh, prefer gold, but, you know, it's just going to be a silver otherwise. draws deck without too many horse plays. Yeah. Just one. Let's guess the options here. I don't really like a third courtyard. I don't really like the second courtyard, so I'm inclined to either do Wharf Postal Regain some horses, or just Wharf Minstrel Silver. Or Wharf Swamp Shack Silver. Probably Shacks. Getting started on Swamp Shacks and just adding, but however the math sort of works out to be able to add treasure payload, just go ahead and do that. But I would certainly want the last wharf. Racer agrees. Okay, interesting. So it goes for Banquet. That's right. treasure payload. It's very cheap. It's negative two coins to add that payload. And Tracer has, does Tracer have six wharves? No, I think it's five, five. Five. But still will be pretty reliable. Your off turns only having two. Yeah, I mean you got the minstrel. Swamp shacks are there for you. Hopefully. I mean they're guaranteed to draw at least one card because of your, your wharf situation, so they're quite good at this point. Right. It makes dudding seem pretty unlikely unless you at banquet like a couple more times for things. Yeah. And you have the courtyard to top deck a village also. Right. So like yeah, with for... overdraw from Swamp Shacks, you can just use a courtyard to top deck a minstrel minst if you can, yeah, no. right? If you haven't played them out or just another village. Or minstrel whatever. plus eight cards is not going to dud. <laughs> on a yeah. kingdom. So yeah, I think um, it's not clear exactly how much you build. It becomes less efficient now that wharfs are gone. 
Um, but being able to threaten double province seems like you want to do that at a bare minimum, and it doesn't take much to get there. But going much beyond that, hmm, probably not worth. It'd be great if you get up to 20, and then you could like double province swamp shacks, but it might just be too much effort. Yeah, I think it's it's one of those games where yeah, you just sort of for victory points around this point. You add some payload sort of where it makes sense, and you build some more because you still need to build a little bit more. Um, but you're sort of just balancing those things out and scoring a little bit. It's uh, not going to get super explosive and and you know really adding lots of golds and horse traders. I don't think. Yeah, so you're probably thinking about hey, do I. Do I take a province here? And if so, how do I how do I hit like sixteen ever? I'd have to banquet right now. It's a little tricky. I my inclination is not to province just because it's a little bit it's your buys are awkward if you do buy province here. Yeah. You do have the three wharves down, so you could be more aggressive and adding some payload here. Mm -hmm. As for how to add the payload, it looks like it starts with the gold. It probably continues with at least one swap shacks. Yeah, it needs the village. And and the draw to you know will be needed. Uh they're okay with the villages, right? I mean they played all their terminals and they that's true. They have on one the fewer area. wharf to play here. You could get a long ship. You could even banquet long, sh long ship uh, and then get swamp shacks, right? Because then you'd have your duration draw kind of evens out. Second horse traders turned out was the the way to go for Yuri. Yeah, that seems reasonable. That I think that's probably gives you more reliability to take swamp shacks horse traders, and it also gives you more. Uh, you know, more payload than banqueting for longship and then taking, I guess, like swamp shacks. But I, I think I, any, a lot of different paths are sort of fine. This could be Gold Province for Tracer. A little bit nervous, but they did play the three wharves here. Yeah, the gold, gold province, you know, just do they just stay at double here and say that's good enough? The alternative would be what buy, you know, probably buy a horse trader swamp shacks, do sort of the same thing as Yuri, but be yeah, a turn probably. behind. Yeah. It would be nice if you get to play all that, you have 20. Uh, or, yeah, you have 20, which is nice. And that's what Yuri has, right? Um, I think they had 14, and they bought gold horse traders. So if they can play everything, that includes discarding either an action card or discarding a copper and redrawing it with, like, your other horse traders. Uh, yeah, so Tracer follows. Trying to get to that same sweet spot of of twenty. Gotta be wharf here, right? No. Okay. Hmm. Uh, hmm. It's weird. Like, didn't you have the opportunity to top deck a hostelry with courtyard if you play wharf first? I'm confused. Yeah, I think that would have worked out because yeah, they drew they drew enough cards to be able to do that. Maybe they would have like top decked one estate or something like maybe yeah, I don't know. But okay, play all your copper, please. Don't you try to do a hostelry thing? That'll make me very sad. The time to green is now. Yeah, you need to need to draw. And and just you know just maybe take more swamp shacks if you. Oh yeah, double province swamp shacks just seems so, so lovely here. I also see a minstrel being 
not crazy for Yuri still at this point. Swampjack is probably better, but... I feel like Wandering Minstrel, you know, has done some great wrong to Yuri, and it's on principle that they're refusing to gain it. So gaining it now would be an admission of defeat. Be caving That's in. True. If you go if you go this long without buying menstrual, you gotta stick stick to your guns. Absolutely. I mean look at this guy, he's just he's just taunting. I would make it larger, but I can't I can't position my cursor. <laughs> Not really sure what else that you'd be thinking about doing. Maybe trying to hit, get to twenty four, but there's not really a convenient way to do that. Um, I mean, if you only single province, I guess you could you could do that. Yeah, one province seems automatic. If you wanted to support twenty four, it's just real awkward. I think. Yeah, I think he just gets real awkward. Yeah, you could do uh, like mining village, horse traders, swamp shacks. Uh, but, you know, then it's you have to trash the mining village. The thing yeah. is, you can do that. You can do that next right. turn, right? If you double province here and then tracer doubles, it's like now you can respond with single and then threaten triple, right? Like, it seems like the natural yeah. thing to do. I don't think you need to be able to triple from Yuri's position. No, it's just a natural outcome if there are four provinces left and it ha it goes into your turn. It's like, oh, well, now I can't double, so let me take one province and set myself up to win next turn no matter what happens, right? That's just like... Right, right. That would be just responding to that in-game state if you get there and you're going to win, right, if, if you get to that state. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, I, I do like, you know, you're ahead. You know, buy the points and draw, draw everything and you win. And so... Double province plus swamp checks would be the best chance to do that, unless unless you really think you're not going to dud, and then and then you could maybe consider building more. But I don't know that that's no, I, really... I don't think so. If you think you're not going to dud, double province makes the most sense. There's literally nothing tracer can do that beats double province here. Like I think that's just a straight up misplay. Yeah. Maybe I'm not thinking through all the options, but if tracer doubles, right, you're in the position where you single and threaten to triple. Okay. If Tracer singles and builds bigger, there are five provinces left, and you buy one province, so even if they can triple, it's not game-winning, and now you set up to win no matter what Tracer does in the following turn, and you still have a VP lead. And if they don't yeah, buy any provinces, you buy two, and you you laugh all the way to the bank. Like It just seems double province Swamp Shacks is the winning line 100% of the time for Yuri. Unless they get, like, a mega dud. Thinking, yeah, it was, like, possible, like, you only get one wharf down on a turn, and then you, you know, you're sort of in trouble, something like that, but... Um, but, yeah, Mining Village is the um, the natural way to, well, to threat and reach. Both well, players saw that. To... Yeah, I wonder if that has anything to do with buying Banquet. Good. Just good. That Wait, they didn't serious. buy Banquet. Uh, Tracer bought Banquet. So that's just unlucky. <laughs> I mean, Yuri added two stop cards, a mining village, and a courtyard. So I guess, yeah. Wow. Well, um, that's really unlucky for Yuri. That definitely could have happened if they took my line. So, yeah. That... I overestimated the consistency of the deck. The weird thing is, like, it was consistent up to this point. <laughs> it was. It was, but put the warps on bottom on the turn where you only yeah. have, you know, four cards coming in, and, and you don't have minstrels to go get them, you're in trouble, right? Yeah, you're just sunk. Yeah. Uh, that was an interesting trash. I wonder what the thought was there. Maybe Tracer's thinking, I buy three provinces and the game's in the bag. That's a reasonable thought. Yeah, because Yuri's not going to have a good turn. Um, yeah, I was just a... I was just wondering about the trash, like the Mining Village trash. No, I, yeah, that's a weird trash, right? Because it's Tracer... 
I mean, you probably saved to take two provinces, but it, like you didn't need the mining village trash to do that, and you don't need the two provinces to win. Yeah, I'm just a little confused with that mining. It was just automatic face of trash that mining village. Yeah, I guess just pressing the advantage. I mean, it does help him get to 21. And he can you know, double province duchy, which seems 100% safe. Yeah. Yeah. With three wars in play, I think it's pretty locked in. That was an extremely unlikely dud for Yuri. Wow. Yeah, and only gets one wharf down this turn. So I mean, the game's the game's pretty clearly over. Yeah, that's just that's rough. You know, wandering miss is a pretty good card, but uh, again, that could have been bottom deck too. It's just when you have so many junk cards, these things can happen. Dave and Tracer here struggling to, to draw everything. But we're going to have plenty. Mm-hmm. All right. Well played. Horse Traders, not my favorite, but also not terrible. They did prove, come in handy. You know, you can't get rid of the green. So the whole game, like, you're hoping it is like a terminal. A terminal plus three coins, plus one buy. And it, there were a couple bad collisions early, which I think was predictable. Um, but other than that, they did play out nicely. Yeah, you could certainly see the argument for taking Menstrual over them or another Silver even, maybe. Mm -hmm. But uh, but yeah, they were they turned out useful. I think we'll see both players by Minstrel here. That's my prediction. <laughs> if I have to, Yuri says. And yeah, you have to. Uh, sea Witch, usually very dominant. Guardian, I mean, that's still probably the case, but Guardian uh, can protect against the trashing. But you know, a plus two cards and then the dungeon effect the next turn? It's actually pretty decent, even without the cursing. Yeah, it's it's really good. It's uh, it's one of the three cards on my ban list. <laughs> oh, really? Of... Huh. Yeah, it's just so. I mean, it's a cursor, and then the dungeon effect. Like the dungeon effect is just so. Good. It's like, so. There's like nothing. I find on so many boards, it's like it's the thing to do, and that, I like that's cards true. That are yeah. A little bit less uh, demanding. I don't mind uh, it too much, just because it provides. A solution to its own attack a little bit so the games don't feel as painful potentially as witch or torture games that's true you can recover a little bit more from them although i feel like because of that i feel like i have to stick in them as i can just resign torture games but see which games i have to keep playing <laughs> yeah i mean if you lose the curse split and there's no way to trash the curses you can you can click that resign but yeah, it's always available. Okay, Astrolabe open. Um, I hadn't really paid much attention to the open, but that surprises me a little. I wonder if there's going to be any expeditioning. Uh, well, Yuri, of course, has the 5-2, which is great. I think I would pick yeah. up a Guardian. Oh, okay. No, we're going to go. This is good, too. Bury treasure into question mark. Butcher, Sea Witch, both seem good. Yeah, both seem, both seem good. I'm not sure... Okay. Uh, that there's that much difference between opening either of them, but butchering Which... and getting guardians and and offers to buy sea witches seems plenty good. I think I like butcher more. Yeah. Uh, so tracer does astrolabe expedition and hits five. That was likely but not guaranteed. Goes for Den instead of Buried Treasure. That makes sense. They're trying to get a five they actually want in, in, as soon as possible. Presumably. Stay on the 
and it's butcher. Ooh, oh. I see you just start with, with Guardian. Okay, you're terribly happy about that. And Butcher misses, of course, all your estates now. Yep. Ender says, surprised about the Den of Sins before Sea Witch. I think it makes sense when you're just trying to play your Butcher as frequently as possible and Guardians in the Kingdom. It makes, like, very little sense for Tracer to get Sea Witch because Yuri got the Butcher and the turn three, like, Butcher estate into Guardian already. Sea Witch is a good card. Den is just a little, a little more efficient draw when you have the terminal Butcher that you want to play. Finally, Tracer gets to trash in a state for a den of sin. Tracer's got significantly more draw, which is which is interesting given how the opens went. Is that true? I'm pretty sure they both have oh, four dens. Four dens. Oh no, that's not true. Sorry, I uh, forgot division. Uh, Astrolabe, right? Yuri doesn't have any, and, well, yeah. I don't know. I think it's worth it. It's just good to have more plus buy. Like, so right now, you just have it from Buried Treasure. Nope. Expedition. So, isn't Yuri not going to have any plus buy this turn? Am I wrong? Uh, yeah, yeah, they won't. I mean, they don't have any source of it other than the buried treasure. Seems like a weird expedition buy then over Astrolabe. I guess they're not drawing everything, you know, regardless, but yeah. they're pretty likely to hit. Pretty likely to hit five, I think, uh, even without the expedition buy. Yeah, maybe it was fine, right? Because you want to see more Den of Sins. You really wanted to see your Butcher here. You didn't. Um, and now you do just have alternating buried treasures, I guess. Right. So, yeah, not really needing the Astrolabe. Um, probably, yeah, the tempo is more important. Because you're not, it's not like you're buying, if you hit eight, when you get the Astrolabe, it's not like you're buying anything that impressive. So, to get more draw, um, you gotta play with Sea Witch, I think. <laughs> yeah, and you have to add Minstrels too, right? So, yep. I think, think it's worth it to do that. Yeah, you this, hmm. yeah, Den just like shuts down playing with Scholar or Tactician. Hmm. Not that they're tempting anyway, but it's just Sea Witch, that's it, and it's not a lot of draw. So you do have to question whether or not it's worth it. Yeah, so Tracer says no, I think mm -hmm. just expedition and treasure. And not is... getting a guardian, right? You you notice that. Yuri preemptively got the guardians, expecting Sea Witch was gonna play a role. And Tracer just said, nah, now that you have the guardians, or maybe even regardless of that, I'm not playing with Sea Witch. I'm just gonna go bury treasure expedition. for my extra draw it's uh you know it's costly but you think a windfall will get purchased here um i could s see it maybe um but it seems like the buried treasure expedition thing being here that's going to get bought down mm -hmm. and then and then you screen be yeah yeah i don't expect it from Tracer, and I don't see. Yeah, we'll see. Yuri so... does take the menstrual. The curses are going to hurt Tracer uh, a little bit, certainly. Uh, so although he... Tracer is 
bond with, with guardians in time. So Yuri needs to take buried treasure here, or else they have no plus buy next turn. So I think it sea witch buried treasure expedition for Yuri. Yeah, that seems pretty reasonable. Three buys here. I don't think anything else really makes much sense. Jay Nails is comparing Buried Treasure Expedition to Den of Sin. Making me think. I think it's it is like exactly the same. I think it is uh, without without an attack, yeah. Without a hand size attack. Is that that right? You well win to pay it at the end. Uh you you get the money set later though. Right, because like Den of Sin, you get the cards immediately with Buried Treasure. It takes until next turn before you actually get the three coins that you then can use, spend on Expedition to get the draw. So it is a turn slower. Right, right, yep. Play the turn. In exchange for... So it's actually more like just a flexible Warlord without the attack. Yes, I know, this is very helpful. <laughs> Yeah, you're you're exactly right. As contrived as that is. Except that you get to have it well it draws itself, right? Passage. So Tracer goes passage over minstrel. Huh. I guess if you're you know never planning to add Sea Witch, Minstrel's really not doing much for you. It helps you find your butcher, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, I see that. I mean, Windfall has a case. Oh, never mind. Butcher can butcher buried treasure. That's also really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you don't need, you don't need the golds. It's hard to draw them. It's just a regular lab, says Mr. Guy. No, it's not, because buried treasure's in play every other turn. A pair of buried treasures is... It's like a start of your turn. Uh, like a half lab that's like schemed with an autumn, like that's like summoned, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, it's like a hireling. It's second turn after you buy it. <laughs> I thought we have an obsession as Dominion players of trying to make cards into other cards <laughs> instead of just understanding what they do. Mm -hmm. Well, it's an interesting, right? The synergy, the buried treasure expedition synergy. So it's important to ask, like, oh, well, how actually, actually, how good is that as draw? And it turns out the right. answer is it's okay. It's yeah. you know, it's 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 decent. Probably better yeah, than wandering the... menstrual sea witch if you're not getting value out of the attack of sea witch. Um, although the the filtering next turn filtering of sea witch is it's not nothing. <laughs> so Yuri ended up not buying a sea witch. Tracers did. Does have a guardian? Okay, okay. I thought Yuri had the two guardians, but now they each have one, which is amusing. It's a, a guardian who's. And this is a good kingdom to be a guardian, and you don't have to be very busy. Mm -hmm. So province already from Tracer. I'm a little surprised. No more buried treasures. Maybe it's just awkward for the price. Well, yeah. Yeah, just electing two expeditions now over plus one expedition next turn in the buried treasure in deck seems seems like a fair trade. You definitely needed to buy the expeditions, I think. I'm just a little surprised about the province. I don't think it's necessarily bad. I'm just surprised. Are we gonna buy windfall? Let's go. There you go. It's good with the Butcher, certainly, to have those golds in deck. Yeah. And Yuri picked up a second Butcher at some point. I <laughs> didn't even notice, but it's looking good in the starting hand with a gold and a Wandering Minstrel. Like, that all looks great. Yeah, they've got the stuff to double right in hand. 
What are you doing with the secret passage? Nothing interesting. <laughs> yeah, you can make your province miss the shuffle, but that's, you know. Oh, Butcher's mild. also great with Den of Sin. Oh, yeah. yeah the second Butcher was pretty good. I think they took it several turns ago. Mm -hmm. And they're, we were thinking maybe they would take, uh, like, Sea Witch Expedition Minstrel. The Tracer here saying... Hey, if you take two provinces, uh, you'll probably just lose the game. Uh, that puts Yuri in a tough spot. Can only take one province safely. What? Unless they're winning? Hey, I didn't see that. Okay, that's a big threat. Wow, nice. I didn't know. That's a shocking amount of reach. That butcher's a good card, isn't it? Yeah, I, I feel like I feel like there's something to that. Well played by Yuri. No sea witch. You don't need to ban it. Doesn't even get played. It's a bad card. Yeah, that was an interesting kingdom. All right, final game. Yuri's up three two. Uh, this one seems considerably more awkward. There's oh, everything you need except there's, there's none of it's none of it's too great except for squirrel, and a lot of it's like pretty good. Yeah, no, I was <laughs> thinking this is going to be super awkward to kick off because you need a swamp shacks or crown crown patrol, and swamp shacks doesn't draw early on the turn. But then I saw squirrel; it's all fine. Yeah, it's great. Yep, everything's duration draw certainly helps. As much as you need, as much as you want. Yeah. Duration draw that gets itself back in your deck next turn. Um, so, yeah, I'd be playing with Ratcatcher. Because it can both trash and be a squirrel. Yeah, it's your only way to trash here. Um, really, at all. Well, right, so. There's trading other than trading. Yeah. I mean, in the open, it's... Yeah. Trading, <laughs> if I trade, can trading post in the open would be great. Especially yeah, if I could open... It, yeah. Catcher, very happy. Very happy. Uh, it might not be bad if you hit five on turn three or four, just because trading post, part of what makes it not great is that it stops being good at some point, but now it can be a squirrel. It's true. I could, I could see, uh, certainly here, because the patrol and the crown don't do much for you on five. I could certainly see a trading post if you get one before turn five. Mm -hmm. So are either player going to buy a messenger? I like messenger as player two with the four, co like four coins on turn two. You know, you, you get the extra card in your shuffle. Oh, Tracer's got to be happy with that for your rat catcher. Let's go messenger. Oh, so many rat catchers. <laughs> <laughs> rat catchers for everyone. I mean, it's great. There's like, okay, interesting. Okay, I was wondering. Squirrel instead of hit five, but that helps you line up your rat catcher. Trashes. Oh yeah, absolutely. You get to trash two estates and trigger a shuffle, which maybe you don't necessarily want to do. But maybe you just squirrel this rat catcher. Actually, mm, you want them on the mat. It's a tricky one. I'm not sure what you do here as tracer. Yeah, because you do okay, want you the trigger it. Eight that you have coming in here. So, yeah, or at least that you have a 5 6 chance of coming in there. And here, you can just. You drew Messenger, so you can just discard your hand if you want to buy a 5 cost, which. You know, getting a crown seems fine. Yeah. Yeah, crown is. And you need it. It's it's good. And uh You have targets. It would be very rare for it to miss. Yep. Oh crown could I guess crown missing means crown hits copper. Right. Yeah. Which is a mess 
for sure. Wait. Wow. Yuri just played that rat catcher. Didn't crown it. That is shocking. It worked out. What? <laughs> I'm just <laughs> so confused. That's such a bold play not to crown the rat catcher. Yeah. But it I think yeah. it turns out the same, but right? Because you, you just squirrel cantrip it and then you would end up drawing the messenger and it would all be the same, but like what's the what's the upside? Like yeah, I I'm I'm baffled. Wasn't Messenger drawn with the rat catcher? I'm not crazy, right? No, rat catcher Thanks. drew the messenger. What's the point of throwing, crowning the rat catcher? Because otherwise, you might have to crown copper. We could play the crown as squirrel, right? If okay, okay, rat that was the backup plan. Got it. Got it. It all makes sense to me now. You can. Oh, you can you squirrel crown in your buy phase. This is not. It's a non-terminal squirrel. Oh, I haven't seen that interaction before. I should play more Dominion. <laughs> There's a lot of new interactions with these these new sets. Menagerie's been out for a while. <laughs> I just don't think I've ever seen it. Like Crown is the, literally the only treasure card you can like play as an action, right? So, yeah, yeah, I think so. Spell scroll, yep. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. That makes crown better than usual because it's, uh, you know, it does what crown normally does, and it also has a backup option as just non terminal duration draw, too, which is better than like a den of sin because you get to play it every turn, right? It doesn't stay out in the shuffle, right. Yeah, squirrels, excellent. Mm hmm. Okay, Cardinal gained. Yeah, Cardinal hitting crown, definitely annoying once the crowns run. Um, probably the only annoying target, though. And also, you just want the money from Cardinal because <laughs> your rat catchers are cleaning up your, your coppers at this point, so. You know, you just have a single messenger, and and you want to start having a, a little more money to play with. So I like the cardinal. Yeah, it gives you a little bit. Pack is not going to do too much, but could be annoying to to deal with. Mm -hmm. Good to put that copper in the discard pile. Oh, actually, all right. <laughs> I thought I was joking, but that makes sense. You get three rat catchers on the mat already. You don't need to play. That rat catcher. I hadn't been paying attention. So many rats being caught. Uh, do you think Tracer's going to draw a deck this turn? Um, not sure. <laughs> the ultimate cardinal defense. You have no cards in your discard pile. <laughs> yeah, Militia would would be shutting down all this squirreling fun. Uh, yeah, this kingdom would be... I guess we'd be, like, drawing cards other ways. <laughs> yeah. Sure. You would definitely be squirreling tactically, but the all-squirrel plan would, would not be viable. Very little over-terminal there. Doesn't get to play the cardinal, but it still gets... Number of swirls down. Was able to quest it for a gold. It was all planned. Uh, quest is one of those events that I neglect being in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. I bet a lot of people forgot that quest was in the kingdom or didn't even notice it. What's DZ's problem? That was a good quest. I think that was a good spot by Yuri. Yeah, because like a lot of people would just filter it out because it's not like a critical event by any means, but situationally there, yeah, it was correct. Yeah, I can certainly use the use the coins there. But yeah, it's such a bad event in general. 
So Tracer's like kind of low on 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 money. They had had a not amazing turn, um, but now they have a crown and a cardinal, and it's looking good. Yeah, it's impossible to lose deck control from this point from Tracer's position, right? If if you buy the right things. This, like, cardinal defense is so amazing. <laughs> I love it. It is always awesome to have an empty uh, empty hand, or empty discard and, and deck when against attacks. Yuri, better, however, not in that position. This cardinal could do some serious damage now that crown is gone. Their crown is no longer in the supply. Yeah. Yeah, the cardinal can really hurt. Really hurt against the crowns, and Yuri has less deck control. So it looks really, really good for Tracer here. Tracer continues to get thinner. Hmm. And Tracer can pop out messenger payload stuff too if so chooses. Yeah, we got to keep an eye out for a three pile with messenger because one messenger buy lowers that pile by three. I mean, it's not there, but if, if messengers get lowered a little more, you know, keep an eye out. All right. All right. Well, yep. Yuri is down to three crowns now. Yikes. Uh, four, right? It looks like they had six. What did they have six? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's even lot. now. So Tracer did, like, has no rat catchers on their mat now. Maybe that's good. Maybe it's not ideal. I'm not sure. They only have the two coppers. Yeah, it, it could just be they're done with that, and they'll play them as squirrels. Although a little bit out of actions for that, maybe. Uh, it's a little hard for me to process. Yeah, I think they're short on actions. They'll probably play one rat catcher, would be my guess. Straight up, maybe two. Ooh, I did not expect Bishop to make an appearance, but Yuri's got the golds to trash. That is a better target. That's kind of an efficient target with quests, right? Yeah, it's not too too bad. Uh, and I think that Bishop does more for Yuri than it does for Tracer, certainly. Well, Yuri's Law is going to lose their another crown, so they'll be down in crowns. And they're going to lose a gold, but that's not a problem. They get that gold back whenever they want. Yeah, it's certainly a much bigger problem to be losing the crowns and... And not in a position where you're drawing deck consistently, although Yuri might be able to get there this turn, but it's it's tough. They don't have right, with being down down the crowns they're gonna be down. Yeah, all these are exiled, it doesn't even matter. So oh, they don't have their cardinal. So they don't actually have a way to quest. Ooh. Yeah, that those cardinals of Tracer did serious work. Yeah, being able to play four of them every turn once the pile ends and being immune yourself uh, turns out to be pretty pretty winning here, it looks like. So Tracer's just doing the calculation each turn, I guess, of how many things they need to play as squirrels. So they played four rat catchers onto the mat, which was a surprise to me. Um, I guess that helps in that they don't need to squirrel as many things. Because while right. rat catchers are ostensibly cantrips, not if you're like doing this draw your whole deck with squirrel thing. Right. So they don't need to be right without the without uh, Yuri having an attack. Tracer's drawing deck at the start isn't quite as important, but also the rat catchers just aren't doing anything for you by leaving them in. Oh, I can not... guarantee that Cardinal's coming back, and he's going to have a friend. It's just the most efficient way for Yuri to like 
to like add payload. So I'm pretty sure a cardinal is going to get bought. Right. Okay, no trash from Yuri. I uh, guess that makes sense because you're thinking, well, I have my own bishop and I'll get one VP each time I play it. It almost looks like Yuri drew deck to protect against our cardinal, but we know better, those of us who haven't just tuned in. A catastrophe occurred, ladies and gentlemen. Some cards were exiled, and uh, those crowns will be never came, never come back. Yeah, it's easy to draw deck if all your cards are just hopelessly in exile. Yeah. Two of them are hopeful in exile, but three of them are, are hopeless. There's no hope for those crowns. They're exiled for good. They are, and they're pretty important. And you can also trash Ratcatcher to Bishop, and that gets you an extra VP. It's a whole two points. Hey. Micro optimizations. Why not do them? Yeah. So Yuri's just got to do the same. Oh no! Tracer left one card undrawn, but it's fine because no cards for Yuri to play. Also, that might the cardinal get turned delay to get into the deck. Yeah. yeah, Yuri needs to do the same math. I'm not going to attempt to do it. Um, we'll just find out in retrospect whether they played enough squirrels. <laughs> it gets like yeah, complicated have... because some number of these rat catchers could end up on the mat. Yeah, I've made no attempt, and I'm not going to make an attempt to predict the number of squirrel plays here. I'm just going to leave that up to the players here. Mm -hmm. I think I think I would bishop at least one rat catcher. I just bishop two rat catchers and play the other as a squirrel. That seems like the way to go. Yeah, I think so. You'll get the coppers next time around. Potentially you'll do copper gold, potentially you'll do double copper next turn. But yeah, this is the point in the game where... Oh, alright. I guess I want this rat catcher. For some reason. Or they counted it and they're like, I don't need one copper. And I'll trash the other one? Oh! Messenger gets trashed! What? What? How could that 1vp be important? And also, you left a rat catcher untrashed. Why wouldn't you trash it over copper? You know, I have these questions. They might have answers, but I, I don't know what they are. So, Yuri uh, is going to get another crown cardinaled. You hate to see it. You hate to see yeah. it. It's the price you pay for not squirreling everything that you need here i suppose and that's uh it's a big price yeah i don't know if they could though like bishop kind of did half the work right by trashing a card that does like half the job of playing it as squirrel so it's not like yuri could have just not played the bishops so that still wouldn't have they still would have left the card Huh. At least there's a rat catcher chilling out there who won't get exiled. Uh, exiling the messenger, that's annoying because now you don't have plus buy. Um, yeah, that's just terrible. That's probably the worst outcome. Well, there it's all bad. Yeah, Cardinal just does terrible, terrible damage here. Oh, yeah, one buy. Anything. One buy is Yuri. Ooh. One buy all this money. You can bishop stuff, but... Yeah, you can bishop <laughs> the gold at this point, right? 
But it's like you can't do the quest thing, right? You can't quest the cardinal to get two golds, which is like your strategy, right? That's why you got the bishop, because you were going to do that thing. Of course, Tracer can do it too, and they're going to do it right now. All right, and they just had... So you're going from two messengers to zero in a hurry. And that seems, yeah, pretty pretty losing here. Yep, probably shouldn't have bishoped that messenger. I don't understand what the point of that was. I would have bishoped the rat catcher. I would have bishoped two rat catchers instead of copper messenger. You get the same VP, but you have more money, and you have a messenger instead of three rat catchers when you don't need them. Maybe there was yeah, a no I, I don't. I don't know what there. Maybe there's a reason, but I, I don't know what the reason was. Like for keeping the rat catchers. Okay, Tracer buys <laughs> buys a messenger to gain nothing. Okay, but you know it's there for additional um, pile threat, and maybe Tracer's there, right, with that gold. Could they empty messengers and rat catcher? Uh, potentially. I'm gonna say Let's yes. So Let's look. You've got um, six coins from the gold, and then you can crown uh, three of those two-coin fellows. So that's 12, uh, 18. You play the other one. That's 20. You can bishop. That's 21. So you add maximum, have 21 coins. Uh, ooh, I think you didn't have enough until that happened. Hold on. One, two, three, two, three. No. Tracer had enough regardless. Unless but Yuri getting actually actually Yuri with the VP lead. Maybe. <laughs> this is an interesting curse. Like the Swamp Jacks is gonna gain that, so it's not like it does anything. Yeah, it just adds a free bishop trash if you want it. Which Tracer probably does. I mean that's yeah, a two VP that's a two VP play at this point. So yeah, Tracer can play the long game. Um they have the better deck. They play all their crowns here, so they're not planning to crown a gold that might mean they're planning to bishop it it might just mean they see a win um there's probably a win this looks like a win type yeah. play uh that's a vp lead yep that's a win yep oh no playing that cardinal as a as a squirrel that's so disrespectful. Points. So disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well done by Tracer, and that was a three-three outcome. Good games. And thanks for commentating with me, Burford. Yeah, sure thing. It's good to, good to commentate with you in good matches or good games. All right. See you all later.